Hi everybody, I'm Joey. Well, uh, the good guys at Inventables contacted me a little while ago and said, uh, if we send you an x -carve, can you uh, kind of put it to the test and see what you can do? So I thought, yeah, sure, I'll give it a crack. Um, so they really want me to just see if I can fit it into my workflow and, and how I can push it and make it do things to make my life easier. So, um, so we've kind of teamed up a little bit. So probably a couple of times, a few times a year, I'll be putting out a video kind of showcasing uh, a, a job with the, uh, ex, uh, with the XCAV. So I'll be making this small vanity as a client job and I managed, I managed to squeeze in uh, using the XCAV quite a few times. So if you're not keen on looking at CNC at all, then maybe not the video for you. Otherwise, uh, it's pretty interesting how I uh, kind of managed to integrate it into the video. Anyway, let's crack on. All right, so first thing was just to uh, mill down my timber and get the panels glued up. So it just kind of worked out that my assistant happened to be sick, uh, away sick, um, the day I needed to flatten out these panels. So I kind of thought, why don't I surface them in the CNC and then I can carry on working um, on the job that he was going to be working on. And uh, just kind of worked out really well and these panels happened to just fit on the X-Carve bed. And so it was pretty simple just to set this uh, machine up to surface the... Um, surface the panels while I could carry on with other things. So now that I've got all four panels with um, well, a flat, pretty flat uh, surface, I can then put them with the milled side down. And uh, in theory, if I take the same amount off each of them, that will be the same thickness, give or take. So um, let's give that a go. And a couple of the boards have got a slight warp in them, and what I'm actually doing is screwing them down so they're flat on the table. So that means I'm not actually milling out the warp, but I am getting a consistent thickness flat board when it's held flat. Uh, because this is going to be mitered together in a box, that mitre is going to hold it uh, flat. Uh, it's going to take the twist out. It's very minor, but it's enough to interfere with getting an even thickness for um, flattening off the boards. I also need to say a big thanks to Tools Today. They supplied me with a pretty good uh, starter kit of bits for the CNC. So if you need any bits, go see them. Right, it was pretty easy to sand off the milling marks. Uh, the Sapelli is fairly soft, and uh, so any of the marks came out really easily. And then from there, I could get on to um, mitering the panels. Then I can add the front bevel onto the front edge of the panels, uh, leaving a small flat spot, about 3 mil flat spot, uh, which I can round off later on. And then on the back edge of the panels, using my dado stack, I can make a large rebate for the back panel. If you're wondering, I did not grain match the mitres. Um, it's not really a concern where this vanity is going. It's going in a, in a nook, in a wall, so you're really only going to see it from the front um, so that really is not a concern at all. I'm using my new Lamello Zeta P2 tool. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing. If you haven't seen it before, you can go check out my last video on the uh, two-hour coffee table. 
So before I actually put this whole thing together, I suddenly thought that I need to cut a hole out for the basin to fit in the top. And um, seeing this is a very easy shape to cut out, uh, I thought I'd do it on the CNC. And it worked really well, super quick. And the best part is it just looks super clean, super professional uh, finish. So then I can get back to assembling the, the main carcass. And I'm using these the mellow clips that have a cam that kind of pulls two pieces together and uh, super super good at joining mitres. I needed to clean up the main bevel edge on the front so I just did that with a hand plane and then I could sand uh, the, the front corner the front edge just round it off by hand. So the result here is a super tight mitre with no external clamps and um, it holds itself together so it means I can carry on working on the piece. So I thought seeing as I can import uh, drawings right from SketchUp into Easel um, I would use the x carve just to cut templates for the legs and then after doing that I thought well if I can cut the template I might as well just cut the legs out so um, that's what I did and then I thought well, if I'm going to cut the legs out I might as well cut the half lap joint into the leg as well and um, it only took about probably 15 minutes to draw it up uh, and then I could start cutting it. So with the legs being cut on the x carve I could cut the bottom rails and sand them off. Then clean up the legs uh, on the router table. So I had uh, an off cut of mahogany veneered plywood so I I'm using that for the doors and I'm um, just edging it with uh, veneer edging as well. So I've always had problems uh, drilling into veneered plywood for the hinge holes. Um, I think the main problem is because the hole's so close to the edge. This kind of furriness here doesn't really matter because the hinge kind of covers it. But when you get breakout 
of this little section here and this happening, that's really no good. So as soon as I've got the CNC, I think uh, I'd like to try and cut them with that for the veneered uh, jobs and we'll see how it goes. Uh, and a superior hole indeed. Um, probably will be my preferred method for doors that fit on the X-carve bed. Uh, anyway, with uh, that done I can sort out the mounting um, brackets for the hinges. So my client was going to buy handles, a couple of doorknobs for this, and then decided she wanted me just to come up with something. So um, I had an idea, drew it, and cut it out on the X-carve in uh, probably 15 minutes. And so, yeah, pretty cool. So I just needed to add a slight kind of bevel towards the base of the, the little pull. So I just did that on my bobbin sander. So after some general sanding and tidying up, uh, it's time to start the finishing. And I'm using a penetrating epoxy for the first coat. This is going to be in a bathroom and um, actually I've found that it's just a really good base kind of sealer coat. Um, so after that was dried, I'd sand it back with uh, 400 grit and I'm adding a, a wipe on polyurethane. Okay, so that's it. There we go. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If uh, you're interested at all in uh, any of the X-Carve products or easel, take a look at the links in the description below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.